I'm really bothered about the sale of Toronto Hydro and I had a conversation with Blair Peberty who is a VP with Toronto Hydro right here some weeks ago and it seems to me that we have been scammed already by changes at the provincial level around public utilities and I think Mike Harris is the guy to blame but it's awfully difficult for the ordinary person to understand because they, it is deliberately confusing. We have gotten away from a model of a proper public utility, which under Scarborough Public Utility, Scarborough PUC, I believe we had. Now, I'm not an expert, but I'm leaving this to other people then to criticize me if I've got it wrong. It seems to me that with that model, you buy your power from whomever, and at that time it was Ontario Hydro, also non-profit. You simply pass through the cost of that energy to the customer and add on any cost that you have locally to maintain your fleet and your own infrastructure, your own wires, your own networks, etc. And that piece is the cost at no extra profit to the customer. I believe what we've got now is a model where it's for profit and the City of Toronto is reaping the benefits. On top of all that money that it takes brings to the city, Blair Peberty, a VP with Toronto Hydro, who as I, I spoke to here a few weeks ago, he has gone just this past week to the Ontario Energy Board trying to get extra money from them by adding five bucks a month, that's ten bucks on your bi-monthly bill, to go towards the cost of equipment and training of workers, etc. That should come out of that profit line first. If you are a non-profit, then you go to the Ontario Energy Board or whoever your regulatory body is and you ask to increase the rates that you charge your customers because you cannot meet your costs with the money that you currently get. It was ridiculous for him to go there. They turned him down. I thought, good, it's over. No, the article went on to say that if it is for capital costs, he can appeal that to, uh, through another channel. And at that point, I thought, God help us. We are being scammed, and if they sell off a portion, and I believe the provincial law is you may sell 10% of your utility or all of it and nothing else. Those two choices. In which case, we have been set up by provincial legislation, if I'm understanding correctly, to encourage municipalities or any other public body to sell their utility off 